Before we begin, please review the first two parts of the series. It is now assumed that StellarMate is up and running and that you connected your equipment to it. Please make sure all your equipment is powered and turned on. Power is the number one cause of communication problems. To download ECOS from the StellarMate website, go to the Downloads section. Click ECOS and then download ECOS release suitable for your platform. Here, I am downloading ECOS for Windows. ECOS is part of KSTAR's desktop planetarium software. After download is complete, simply proceed with the installation and then launch KSTARS. Once you start KSTARS for the first time, you will be presented with a guided wizard in which you will select your location and can download extra data. We will skip that for now and go directly to ECOS setup. Click on the ECOS icon in the toolbar. The ECOS profile wizard is now launched. Click next. The profile wizard will now ask you where your equipment is connected to. Since our equipment is connected to StellarMate, we select the second option. Equipment is attached to a remote computer. However, in case you are running ECOS directly on StellarMate, for example, if you connect it through Web VNC or through any VNC viewer or directly through HDMI cable, then in this case, you select the first option. Let's now click on the second option. Enter the StellarMate hostname or IP address. Then always check yes regarding Indie Web Manager. Click next to continue. Here, we select our profile name and which kind of application we would like to use, if any. It is highly recommended to use the internal guider as it is well integrated with ECOS. Finally, you can select to start additional services such as joystick drivers or remote asymmetry and so on. When you are done, click Create Profile button. Now, let's select our drivers from each list. Remember from previous videos that we are connected to EQMod, Canon DSLR, and RoboFocus. Click Save, and now we are ready to connect to StellarMate. Click Start ND. You will see that it is auto-searching for ports. For EQMod, it found it on the RFCOM0 Bluetooth serial port. To communicate with serial ports in a fast and reliable way, please use the StellarMate Serial Port Assistant, which we will cover in a future video. You can see the AQ mode mount icon now on the KSTAR sky map. ECOS is composed of several modules, each suited to a particular function. Here we can explore in the control panel which contains all the detailed properties for all the devices. We are now in the Capture module. From here, you can capture previews in addition to complex sequences with filters. For detailed documentation on the Capture module, please visit the StellarMate website. Let's take a preview of the camera now and wait until it is downloaded to our computer. If you go to the focus module, you will see that RoboFocus is not yet detected. Let's go back to the control panel and find out why. Now the camera image is loaded and displayed in KSTAR's Fits Viewer. Over at RoboFocus connection settings in the Indie control panel, we see that the port setting is correct since the only serial port available besides the Bluetooth serial port is TTY USB 0. The reason RoboFocus failed initially to connect is because both RoboFocus and EQMod were accessing the same serial port at the same time when we first connected. However, now that EQMod managed to successfully connect to the Bluetooth port, it will remember these settings for future connections. Nevertheless, 
It is highly recommended to try out a serial port assistant tool in order to assign permanent ports to all of your devices. Let's now try connecting again. RoboFocus is now online. If we go back to the focus modulo, we should be able to select it. We can command it to go to an absolute focus position or simply focus it in and out by the step size indicated in the settings at the bottom. Next, we have the alignment modulo. In here, we can perform plate solving in addition to measuring and correcting polar alignment errors. We can also load an existing image and ECOS shall command the mount to go to the image location in the sky. This is the mount modulo where we have our telescope settings and we can monitor and control our mount. The mount control panel provides an easy access to the mount functions. To slew to an object, simply right click on it in the sky map. Then select track from the context menu as shown. From the mount control, we can search for objects, change slew speeds, and issue parking and unparking commands. This is the guide modulo. Since we haven't specified any guide cams in our equipment profile, we cannot obviously guide with a primary camera. In addition to the powerful built-in guider, you can connect to external guiders such as VHD2 and Lint Guider. If we go back to ECOS primary screen, we can see a summary of imaging operations and the status of various ECOS operations. This was a very quick overview of ECOS. There is certainly a lot more to learn. To disconnect your equipment, simply click Disconnect and then click Stop ND. Afterwards, it is safe to power off StellarMate. This concludes part 3 of the StellarMate tutorial series.